now that we're able to, to check to see if our tokens are expired or not, let's actually decode the token and actually use the information that we get out of the token. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go in and configure our auth service and we'll decode the token when the user logs in and we'll store that information in, in a variable and then we'll actually use it somewhere within our application. In this, in this case, it'll be the header component. And then down in the description, you'll find this link right here. And if you go click on that, you'll end up on this page. And we were actually checking this page out in the last video. And we used the is token expired method in the last video. Now we're, we're going to be using the decode token. And we'll actually decode the information from the tokens that we get from the user. Uh, let's set that up now. So if we go back to our project and open up the all service, and the first thing we'll need to do is create a variable where we can store all this information when we decode the token. So I'll just call it decoded token. Token, and that'd be a type of any. So now we have somewhere to put all that information. So within the login method, when the user first logs in, we're gonna, we'll grab their token and we'll decode it right away. And we can use this. We set this up in the last video, and now we'll have access to that decode token method. So the first thing we'll do is set that new variable. So this decoded token, there it is, equals, and then uh, this helper, and then the method decoded tokens, and then we pass in the user's token. Token, all right. And then also let's go and console log the decoded token. So console log and this decoded token. And let's try this out, see if it's working. So if we go back to the browser, and then go to the application and let's log in. Okay, great. So our information, we're, we're able to decode it and get it. And then also here's the username. So this is what we wanna show up here in the top right corner when the user is logged in. So uh, let's set that up. We'll do that within the header component because that's where this is. So if we go back here and let's open up our header component and open up the HTML and also open up the .ts. I just wanna show you something in there. So in a prior video, we set up the auth service. So now we'll have access to that property within the auth service, this decoded token. So now we could just pluck things out of that um, decoded token uh, anywhere we want. Uh, in, this, in this case, we'll be doing it here within the uh, .html. So I'll just change this to like welcome and then the username. And that is this right here, copy this. And then go back here again, paste. Then inside the service, there is something called decoded token. And then inside the decoded token, there's a, another property and that is called unique name. I'll copy and paste, go back here and paste. Okay, so we should have access to that now. We could save this and let's uh, check it out again. And let's log in. So our username is showing up, that's good. Now we're getting this error here. And the reason is, is when we refresh the screen, that unique name is null, uh, it doesn't exist. And the reason it doesn't exist is because we're not setting it uh, when the page refreshes. We only set it when the user logs in. And as you can see right here, it's, it's not here anymore. But if we log in, it shows up again. So one, two, three, four, log in, and there it shows up. So now what we need to do is set that decoded token uh, within the service when the, this page reloads. So there's a way we could do that. One, we could get rid of this error and make this optional. Uh, that still won't fix this issue, but uh, that'll get rid of the error. So let's do that right now. So right here, we can add a question mark right here. And what that does is makes this optional. So I'll just save this, go back here. That gets rid of the error uh, now if we refresh, but the name still doesn't show up. So we need to take care of that and go back here again. So the way we could fix that is if we go all the way up to the main root of our application right here, uh, the TS file. And what we could do is set up that decoded token property here. So whenever the page reloads, it's going to get set if there's a token. Now there's a, uh, several steps we need to do here. We need to implement the on in it, so implement on in it. And then that's gonna give us error here. And the reason is we need to uh, create the ng on init method. So let's set that up. 
I'm gonna close it up. That should get rid of that error. Okay, so the first thing we'll need to do is pull in that auth service because what we need to do is set this property to something um, so it's not null. So if we go back here and let's create our constructor. So I'll just create that right here. And then we'll pull in our auth service. So I'll make this private and this will be off oops off service there it is okay so we have access to that property now now we need to set it so what we need to do is decode the token here uh within our ng on it uh first let's just grab the token so we'll get that out of local storage so const and this will be token local storage and then get item and it's called token so if there is a token we should have a token now now we need to decode it and set that property within, within our auth service. So to do that, we need to import our decoder. That is this right here. So we need to set this up again. And then also we need to set this up as well. So if we go back to here and paste it up here, jump back and forth, go to auth and copy this. And we'll set this up as well. And then uh, let's replace this right here. We don't need that anymore and just paste this in here. So we should have access to that. Okay, so let's go and actually decode it. All service, and then decode a token equals this helper. And then we should have access to that method, decode a token, and what do we want to pass in? The token. Okay, and that should take care of that error. So if we save this now, and let's go check this out in the browser. Okay, great, so it's showing up. If we refresh it, it still shows up and there's no errors. And let's log out. Okay, and then try logging in one more time. Make sure everything's working. Okay, it looks really good. Let's get rid of that console log. So if we go back here, and let's go inside the service, and let's get rid of this console log. We don't need that anymore. Save this. So now that this is all done, let's set up uh, some styling in the next video. And what we'll do is that we'll install what's called Bootswatch. And we'll start adding some styles to this. And we'll do that in the next video.